Hello, Ty. My name is Susan. I live in the United States, in Colorado to be exact. And behind me is a picture of my late husband, Eric, who a mere four weeks ago entered into non-Eric elements. I miss him greatly, but thanks to your teachings, I understand that there is no birth and there is no death. And I want to acknowledge Eric because he led me to you in the first place. When he learned that you were coming to Colorado, he made a beeline to Estes Park and sat in your presence and thankfully brought home a DVD of your Dharma talk, which introduced me to your teachings. And I have been a devout follower ever since. So over here, we have a library of your books. Eric read everything he could get his hands on, and I am uh, delving into them as well. I really prefer to listen to your Dharma talks, which I do every morning. Um, I have also read Sister Chan Kong's book, Learning True Love, which I adore. I adore her too. So um, here through the bedroom door, I want to show you just what a presence you are and have been in our lives. This is my altar where I sit every morning and it is graced by your picture with your beautiful smile and every morning I send you my love and blessings and I hope that you are still able to smile and that you are recovering steadily. I continue your teachings, Ty, by living compassionately, by eating with compassion. I don't partake of any animal products. And before every meal, Eric and I would recite your contemplation before eating. This food is a gift of the earth, the sky, numerous living beings, and much hard and loving work, etc., etc. Beautiful, beautiful prayer. One last thing I want to thank you for, and that is your calligraphies. We have two of them here on our living room wall. Now is the time. This is it. Breathe. It'll be okay. So thank you, Ty. Thank you for, for being such a beautiful, wonderful, cosmic world leader. And it's thanks to you that the world has hope. Happy birthday, Ty. We love you.